Hey there everyone, in today's video we are going to talk about easy social share button for WordPress. So basically this is a plugin with the help of this plugin you will be able to do multiple things like once you uh, whenever you are uh, hovering over to any of your favorite website like news website you must have seen that on the top of the article and the bottom of the article there are social signals right to share the article so basically to get those social signal on your website there there are multiple certain plugins out there they might be free they might be paid but the thing is on my perspective i personally talk about when it comes to social share for a particular page for a particular article or it might be featuring your social signals on the sidebar or it might be uh, showing up your facebook page on the sidebar with the uh, customized counter button this is the best, best plugin out there because if you scroll down and you will see this has over uh, 29,000 sales which is a great deal and it is compatible with WordPress no doubt about it because one of the best thing is it is customizable with any kind of theme you don't you don't have to worry about that if this is compatible with your theme or not okay just go and grab any of the theme this is compatible for that okay if I go to the live preview then it will be redirected to the original sales page or the original author page if I'm not wrong it will open up uh, real soon as it's loading let's wait for it as you can see here are the all feature which has been listed which has been basically provided by this particular plugin if you scroll down then you will get to know this will provide you 50 plus social network so basically uh, there are almost uh, multiple social networks out there social media platform right so this plugin will allow you to uh, feature almost 50 plus social networks on your website right and it will also give you 50 plus template to uh, showcase your own visibility okay as you can see this is one of the type so that you can also use this type of template on your website to showcase your social feature okay and if you scroll down then you will get to know you can try it out the demo version also if you click on demo then it will redirect you to the demo page and if you scroll down then it will show you the awesome amazing looking uh, I mean to say the positioning you can uh, literally add the social signals anywhere on your article and if you scroll down then you will see this is the feature and this kind of plugin you will get okay let it go and if you want to add the social share buttons on your WooCommerce product page that is also possible with this particular plugin isn't it great right and if you scroll down then you will get to know everything about it and on the top if you grow and uh, go and click on pricing then you will get to know about the pricing also so for one single website it will cost you around 20 dollars and i don't think so they have other plans as well or extended license yeah the extended license is for uh 199 dollar which is uh quite good according to me so today we are going to install this particular plugin on our website and i will showcase you some of the basic instruction which you can do with this plugin so first of all you need to download this plugin uh, you can always download it from here okay so once you have the download uh, once you have the file downloaded on your website uh, on your system basically then we have to upload that particular plugin on our website okay so coming back to my website this is like tutorial.samehranclub.com so i will be using this domain to featuring that particular plugin so first thing you have to do is uh, click on your url and type wp admin so basically with the help of this uh, this link you will be redirected to your dashboard so basically what is dashboard let me click and i will show you so uh, so basically if you are logging in for the first time or if you are coming into this link for the first time it will ask you for the username and password which you have entered while you were installing wordpress on your domain okay basically when you were installing on your cpanel so once you're logged in successfully this is the dashboard or should i say like uh, this is the back end of your website basically with the help of back end you will be able to customize your uh, website settings and add more functionality features to your website okay so let me give you a quick uh, review what we get on the left hand side with the help of post you will be able to add uh, post blogs or anything under the media section you will be able to add medias like images uh, videos uh, gif file and everything and all that so with the help of pages you will be able to create pages like home page about page contact page privacy policy page and all that comment section basically contains of all kinds of comment which you are getting on your blog page okay and 
under the appearance hood you will be able to see the theme section basically here is the appearance look i mean to see i mean to say that the appearance of your website totally depends upon the theme and if you pick up the good theme then your website look amazing okay so under the plugin section you will be able to add some plugin so basically plugin extends some kind of functionality on to your website which is a big deal under the user section you will be able to add new user remove new user you can assign different roles to user basically you can have multiple admin throughout the website which is a big deal right and under the tool section you will be able to uh, Im get import tool export tool or you can check the site health uh, wp reset and under the setting section you will be able to get general setting reading writing setting discussion setting basically discussion setting is to enable or disable the comment section as you saw here and uh, permalink basically uh, setting up the structure of a url so that was a quick review or you can just collapse this menu so you will get just icon i will prefer it like this so today we will add that particular plugin you just have to click on plugin and add new so by default wordpress provide you n number of free plugins uh, which you can use it for your website and if you go here and type social shares you you will also get uh, I'm sure you will get some social share plugin for free but the thing is there are a lot of difference between free plugin and paid plugin okay I, I totally agree that free plugin can totally do your work but the thing is there are some extended functionality which you only get on premium plugin so I have always suggest you if you have little bit of budget to invest in the initial stage always go for two things uh, invest your money in a very good theme or invest your money in a very a uh, good plugin right if you see this this is the yoast seo uh, one, one of the famous popular plugin out there for seo but the thing is their uh, free version is not that much compatible to do on page seo the most premium feature for this particular plugin is hidden inside the premium plugin right the premium version of this plugin so i generally prefer you if you have little bit of money just go for the premium plugin okay so let me upload that plug particular plugin if i'm not wrong this is the plugin I'll click on install now and it will start installing the uh, it will basically start uploading the file from your system to the server of your website okay just wait for it and it will be uploaded in couple of seconds and if I'm not sure uh, I have already uploaded it uh, let's wait for it then we will see that I have uploaded it or not so as you can see it is showing me error because destination folder already existed so basically this means I have already uploaded the plugin let me show you as you can see plugin has been uploaded i just need to activate it so i hope you also got activation of this particular plugin so once you activate the plugin you will see a lot of things right here this is the dashboard of that particular plugin uh, welcome to easy social share button for wordpress that is amazing and if you see on the left hand side you will see a lot of functionality you can uh, see the share buttons where to display additional features follow counter let me give you a quick review of what basically each and every section consists of okay so if you click on share buttons then you will be able to see a lot of different types of share button which you can use it on your website throughout okay if you click on template then you will be able to get a different kind of template applied for libraries and if you want to configure this automation positioning so basically this plugin will, uh, will automatically figure out which is the best position for your mobile and as well as desktop to showcase your social network uh, handles right so this with the help of this you can configure it if you click on this activate and activate yes yes and save it and this will do all the job done for you so basically now you will be seeing your social share throughout the website for the best position available out there and if you click on this share counter setup uh, share counter setup basically this will uh, give you the functionality to showcase your social media handle and their share counter uh, share counter so basically i mean to say that if you have a facebook page and it has uh, let it be like 200000 followers right likes and it will show you the uh, share buttons that how many shares are uh, going right now on your particular post and all that okay and pinterest pro so basically with the help of this particular section you will be able to showcase your pins from the pinterest right and if i come to this section where to display you will be seeing uh, a lot of things like post type you can uh, customize the uh, positioning of your particular social network uh, handles right if you want it to be display under the post or uh, upside the post you can do that 
you can always activate the subscribe description click here additional feature follow count click on fo follower counter then you will see where it has to be positioning yeah you can always showcase your follow counts okay so you have a huge instagram account where is the instagram okay let it be uh, youtube if you have a huge youtube uh, channel and it is it has almost a 10000 subscriber you can showcase your youtube channel on the sidebar and your subscriber will increase and automatically it will increase on your uh, sidebar as well as simple as it is okay and if you want floating sidebar which i showed you here uh, if i'm not wrong if i go back yeah this is called the floating sidebar so basically your share uh, how much share you got how much tweet you got how much a uh, linkedin uh, shares you get how much pin do you have for this particular post this is the uh, uh, floating sidebar you can also get it for your uh, website if i click here and which icon you want you want a round icon you want gray icon I, I will prefer for round icon i want with pop up animation plus animation uh without space between the button no uh, i want little bit of space do you want it to be horizontal or like i will just save the setting and let me see the website if those floating icons are available on uh, on my website or not so if i'm not wrong that that floating icon will be available for a certain post or pages uh, i have to create a post and then we will see that it is available or not as you can see the social icon are available here and here is the floating icon which i was talking about right you can always get it with the help of this particular plugin where was that as you can see it is here content bar so you can always uh, enable this profile links so basically you can showcase your profile of social media with the help of this if you enable this it will ask you to enable which profile do you want to showcase if you want to showcase the facebook profile twitter pinterest you can always check mark the profile which you want to showcase and save the setting that was super simple right and if you want to import the whole setting of this particular plugin to your other website i mean to say if you want to add the same kind of functionality to other website and you have changed the all settings here and you want the same settings on the other website you can always import the whole setting and export it there you, i mean to say export it from here and import it there as simple as it is share a uh, style setting you can always choose the style setting whatever you want to do profile links there are a lot of things to know about it you you have to just play around with the whole plugin thing okay so i hope you really get a rough idea if you are looking for a social share button wordpress plugin this is the best plugin out there so i want to wrap this video up with that being said i will catch you in the next one